So today I'm going to show you uh, the mushrooms that I've been growing. Uh, I've been growing them in the kitchen on coffee grounds and then I throw them into the kitchen compost bin over here, which is just a wheelie bin. And oyster mushrooms are supposed to only grow on, uh, you know, wood matter, woody matter. But in the compost, you know, it's mixed with kitchen scraps and other stuff like that. But still, the same, um, it's called a gray dove from uh, Field and Forest. The same mushroom that I've been growing is popping out of the holes of the side of my kitchen compost. Um, so it's pretty exciting to me. Uh, there's this permaculture principle, which I like to follow. Um, I had another one. Oh, see, look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's another one popping out right there. Yeah. So that's it. I just wanted to show you, uh, and the permaculture principle that I'm talking about is, uh, it's not even really a permaculture principle. It's just this permaculturist that I uh, went and did a tour with, um, uh, I can't remember the vineyard, but he was the, the farm manager of Biodynamic Organic Farm. And he said, you want to get whatever it is that your waste products are through as many mouths as possible. And so I've always loved this idea of taking scraps and you know, wood waste and putting them into a mushroom's mouth and then taking that and putting it into you know, a chicken or a duck's mouth and then putting that into the the finally into the compost scraps which then is like another mouth the mouth of the bacteria and the other uh, beneficial funguses and microbes and things in there and so just putting them through as many mouths as possible and then you're constantly resourcing cycling and it's that it's that permaculture principle of integration not segregation and resource cycling like i just said um, so anyways there's the mushroom and that's the philosophy behind it. I was just listening to the, or listen, reading Ryan Holiday's daily uh, blog post. And he was talking about how, um, you know, as we get older, we get so busy in life that we, you know, we make money, we get busy, we have success. And, you know, even if we're struggling, the busyness uh, takes over and veers, off, veers us off course. And he's so right. Like, we've got to keep coming back to the core. Uh, and for me out here, the core is is trying to be the best human that I can be and have my life enhance as much of the life around me as possible. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see because the sun is probably going to sort of knock it out. But I'm going to try to do a little 360 in our little, our little private canyon that we created by just being... Uh, good people and working hard. So, oh, you see that back there, that round thing? That's our humanure compost, for those of you that care. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful on some level. Have a great day.